How can you treat pancreatic cancer without any surgery? My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Let's talk about the available methods. When I said uh, treating without surgery, I can mean anything. I can mean uh, treat with chemotherapy, treat with herbs. But in reality, I mean something like surgery, but without really cutting, cutting out this tumor. And these are called local regional methods of uh, ablation. Ablation means you directly destroy the tumor by something. Usually it's, it can be chemical, it can be physical uh, factors. Chemical factors are not used in uh, pancreatic cancer because of its anatomy, uh, but uh, you know, these chemical substances can spill, they can cause pancreatitis, uh, the person will die from just from using this chemical. But physical methods can be really used. The problem with pancreatic cancer is it's quite an aggressive tumor and um, only 20% of people who come to the oncologist who, with their first uh, made diagnosis, uh, only 20% uh, will be actually um, resectable, meaning this tumor can be surgically removed. Uh, all the others will have metastasis already or the tumor will be too big and it will grow to the uh, important structures to blood vessels around and it cannot be removed anymore. And these patients mostly are candidates for chemotherapy. Chemotherapy unfortunately is not super effective in uh, the case of pancreatic cancer. Also uh, some of these 20% of people who are lucky to be candidates for surgery uh, cannot um, afford surgery because of their health conditions, because of their, for example, uh, he uh, health issues, uh, heart problems, lung problems, etc. Uh, and um, because the surgery is a very big surgery. Uh, most of the tumors are located in the head of pancreas and that's why you need to uh, cut some tissues around and you need to cut a liver, gallbladder, no, part of liver of course, uh, part of the stomach, uh, most of the pancreas, a part of the duodenum, then you need to sew it all together in a very, it's a very difficult and uh, long surgery. That's why no, uh, it has high risks, a lot of complications, but if the person is candidate, it's better to remove it because this and it's an only way to potentially cure this person. But what is the options for those who cannot survive the surgery or the risks are too high or it's already uh, to um, late to do surgery. The science is developing the other branch of uh, methods. It's uh, the direct and local destruction of the tumor without any uh, surgeries, uh, without any cuts. These are called ablation techniques. How can we do ablation? We can do it again, I will tell you, with uh, different uh, thermal methods. We can heat up the tumor so it will die or uh, cool it down very much. Uh, and um, also we can do non-thermal methods. Uh, and uh, for example, with the light or with uh, electric current. And all these methods have some pros and cons. First of all, let's talk about the thermal methods uh, where you heat up the tumor. First problem of these methods is, um, yes, they're very effective, but they make some heating area around tumor also. And uh, there are risks of uh, damaging their surrounding uh, structures and surrounding blood vessels. So there can be more complications, but really they are very effective. First method is uh, radio frequency ablation, RFA. RFA. You put electrode inside the tumor and uh, it will do a radio frequency irradiation around and it will heat up the tumor and the tumor will die. This method really helps uh, those patients with uh, pain uh, this can help to shrink the tumor. By the way, I forgot to tell you that uh, these methods can be used for those who cannot um, survive surgery, who has a very high pain, so you need to do it with uh, do these procedures with pain relieving um, purpose. Or even sometimes you can uh, improve uh, its size, it will shrink, and uh, um, maybe even we can uh, do surgery afterwards if the tumor is uh, much smaller, becomes much smaller. So again, radio frequency ablation, it helps to shrink the tumor, make pain less, and uh, it can really improve the survival and the uh, life 
expectancy in those patients. Other good thing, it's quite available and uh, it's uh, not very expensive procedure. But there are some disadvantages like it can cause vascular damage, thrombosis, uh, some bleeding and inflammation in uh, pancreas. There is one other method, it's uh, called microwave ablation. You put this antenna inside the tumor again, it makes a microwave oven inside the tumor, it will heat up the tumor and kill the tumor cells. It is more localized, uh, it uh, is not as damaging for surrounding tissues, uh, but uh, the shape of the influence is not, not very round, that's why it's more difficult to apply it correctly. And uh, their disadvantages are quite the same as the previous method. And uh, good things, it's also a quite available method. Next one, we can use um, sound, ultrasound, high-intensity ultrasound. It's called HIFO therapy. And uh, this is high-focused beam of ultrasound that uh, will be absorbed by tumor and the tumor will heat up and die. Very big advantage of this method, you don't need to put any uh, needles, any antennas, cut anything with this method. You just do it through skin. But of course it can cause some skin burns or uh, problems with subcutaneous uh, fat tissue, it will become more like scars inside. And of course it can cause some inflammation in the pancreas. This method really help us to decrease the pain of these patients. It can, can uh, really decrease the volume of tumor very well and it also prolongs life. Disadvantage, it's expensive and more rare. Next method, you can cool down the tumor very much. You will uh, put the special tubes inside the tumor, uh, put, um, insert the gas argon to freeze it, and then you need to unfreeze it with helium, and you did several sessions like that. And it really helps to shrink the tumor and uh, increase the uh, life expectancy of those patients. After procedure, the patients may suffer some abdominal pain or uh, the food may be stuck in the stomach. Also can be occasional bleeding, for example. But it's also a good and promising method. And next group of methods are uh, non-heating methods. You don't use the uh, heating up of the tumor. Uh, these methods uh, are better because they don't have so much collateral damage. Of course, first I need to talk about irreversible electroporation or nano knife. Here you put the special electrodes uh, on the borders of the tumor around and you make the electric current uh, and uh, this will make uh, micro pores in the membranes of the cells and the cells will uh, be damaged and die. The best thing about this method, uh, there is uh, no influence on the surrounding tissues, that's why it's the most safe methods in relation to blood vessels. Main uh, negative side, it's very rare and it's uh, expensive. And it also can cause some inflammation in the pancreas or leakage in the duodenum. And the last method I want to talk about is uh, the uh, usage of light against the tumor. This is called photodynamic therapy. We insert, uh, inject the special substances, photosensitizing substances, to uh, patient's blood. And uh, these substances will accumulate in all the tissues and in tumor tissues also. But uh, eventually uh, the normal tissues will get rid of it. But in tumor cells it will be stuck for longer. And during this moment we will uh, use the special light uh, on this um, tumor to activate the substance with the light. And the substance will, when it's activated, it will be very aggressive processes will happen and uh, the tumor cells will die. Unfortunately, this method is not very highly researched uh, in the case of uh, pancreatic tumors, but it's uh, researched in other tumors. We'll talk about them in other lectures. So, uh, let's do some conclusions. Uh, first of all, there are uh, two methods, uh, two groups of uh, these local methods of uh, killing tumors without uh, surgery. Uh, some use uh, heating up the tumor, thermal methods, and uh, they have more collateral damage, uh, but uh, in general they are very effective. The other methods are non-thermal and uh, they don't uh, damage the surrounding tissues and more safe for blood vessels. Uh, Radio frequency ablation and microwave ablation are quite similar, um, quite available and not as expensive as the others, 
and um, they can really help to fast shrink the tumor, decrease the pain and improve the survival of those patients. Unfortunately, they are more dangerous for surrounding tissues and structures and blood vessels. The other method is high foo therapy, high intensity focused ultrasound. Um, we don't need to do any injections, any cuts to apply, apply this procedure, but it's more expensive. Non-thermal methods are more expensive and, uh, uh, for example, nano knife uh, is uh, most likely the most promising for today, uh, especially because it doesn't affect any surrounding tissues, so it's the safest one. Dear friends, I hope it was uh, interesting for you and uh, inf this information may be helpful for someone. I wish you good luck, good health, God bless you, bye bye.